Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update, this Wednesday, November 28. Joining us now inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 34 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room, Today is uh, Flight Director Tomas Gonzalez-Torres, shown here in this view, and next to him serving as CAPCOM is Leslie Ringo, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Now aboard the International Space Station is Commander of the Complex, NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, with Flight Engineers Russian Cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Yevgeny Torelkin, who will work aboard the station as a three-member crew until the arrival of three new crew members in a few weeks. Ford Novitsky and uh, Tarelkin arrived at the International Space Station after docking their Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft shown here to the uh, Poisk module last month on October 25th. Today they complete 37 days in space. Meanwhile, the uh, space station with its crew flying aboard is uh, flying at an altitude of about a little more than 260 statute miles. The orbiting facility is on an east-southeast track coming now across the uh, North Pacific Ocean and will pass an orbital sunrise here in a few minutes. The Expedition 34 crew members began their day with some time this morning for uh, work prep preparation, breakfast, morning hygiene, and a uh, daily station inspection. The crew then kicked off the day with the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers around the world to review the day's activities and plan for the next set of tasks. At the uh, top of the task list, Commander Kevin Ford began his day early this morning working with the aquatic habitat that is home to uh, Madaka fish aboard the International Space Station. Researchers are using this facility that was uh, brought up to the space station back this summer in uh, July to look at how microgravity impacts marine life. The ongoing studies will look at the impacts of radiation, bone degradation, muscle atrophy, and developmental biology. Ford this morning had performed a uh, water quality check measuring the uh, concentration of ammonium, nitrate, and nitrate in the water of that aquatic habitat. Commander Ford then uh, moved along to more research on orbit. He uh, per performed uh, new data takes with the SPHERES experiment, shown here in this uh, video that was downlinked from earlier this morning, that uh, employs three bowling ball free-flying satellites known as Synchronized Position Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites. These satellites are used to uh, test techniques that could lead to advancements in automated dockings, satellite servicing, spacecraft assembly, and emergency repairs. Yesterday, ground controllers in the mission control commanded the Canada Arm 2 to walk off from the mobile base system power and data grapple fixture to the Harmony power and data grapple fixture. Today, uh, Commander Ford had worked from inside the cupola to uh, begin a routine inspection of the space station arm latching end effector by snapping a series of pre-identified photographs of the snare cable. And meanwhile, on the Russian side of the house, flight engineers Novitsky and Tarelkin work together to uh, gather data for the Russian scientific study known as Typology, which looks at the effect of long-term spaceflight on a uh, crew member's psychophysical state, his ability to withstand stress, and to perform and communicate. Novitsky then uh, replaced a couple fire extinguishers in the uh, Zvezda service module, while Tarelkin performed uh, regular daily maintenance to the SOJ, or the Russian life support system. We're getting a view again here inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This is the Orbit 2 team who continues to monitor the systems and the crew's activities aboard the International Space Station. Meanwhile, each of the crew members will uh, put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. 
The crew will then wrap the day with a final daily planning conference with the ground and is then scheduled to go to bed at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. Also activity back on Earth, three more crew members are in Star City, Russia, preparing for their launch next month to return the station to a six-member crew. 34, 35 is reporting. At the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center, Expedition 3435 Prime crew members shown here in this view, Roman Romanenko and Tom Marshburn and uh, Chris Hadfield, along with their backups, conducted the second of two days of Russian Soyuz and Russian segment qualification simulations and exams today. This will lead to their final certification for flight and a December 19 launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in their Soyuz TMA-07M spacecraft that will dock to the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. This is Mission Control Houston.